In this video, I'm just going to show you a quick technique to get some information between groups or variables in your data set. So I have a list of 500 customers, the number of children that they have in their household, um, how many bananas, apples, and servings of fish that they eat each week. Well, yes, that's a lot of fish that they eat each week. Um, so you, you might be aware of highlighting a column and getting a bunch of data on the bottom right over here. We have average count, numerical count, min, max, and sum. If you don't know where to get that, you have to right click and you get all these little options on here because sometimes in default, your data package, Microsoft Excel, doesn't have some of these available to you by default, so you have to check mark them. Now, you're, if I were to ask you how many, what is the average number of children, you'd be able to say, well, 0.95 or one, okay? But what if I said, what's the average number of children in households where number of servings of fish is greater than five? Well, you can't do that anymore. You have to do a, either a pivot table or a 5Ms analysis, you know, some, something, some sort of a cross tab or something like that, or a frequency distribution, count ifs, something like that. But let me show you a quicker way. We're gonna highlight this data here. We're just gonna create a filter. Okay, you can go up to data, filter, or anywhere you like if, if there's multiple options in your screen. So I wanna find the children. I wanna, I wanna find out what the average number of servings is for households that have four children in them. So first of all, here's a tip. I've selected four, and if you go to the bottom left-hand side of your screen, and you might not be able to see it here, but it says ready 15 of 496. It means that it found 15 families or 15 rows of data from respondents that have exactly four children. Right? Not a lot, not a lot. So now I can do something where I could highlight this column here, and now it'll calculate solely based on that filter that I've chosen. So the average is 5.8. Okay, so 5.8 is the average there. There's 16, but the numerical count is 15. And by the way, what is the difference between count and numerical count? Well, count is everything you've highlighted, including that word fish which is not a numerical value. That's why you have numerical count down there of 15. But you also have some other stats here. You've got a min of one and a max of 10. Uh, and 87 total fish are being eaten by families that have four children in them. Now, you can take this a step further and say, I wanna look at the children, I wanna look at the information with children as four. So we keep that as a four, but with 10 fish eaten. And now I've got two rows of data. Okay, so this family almost looks the same, except for their apple consumption. That might be useful to me as a marketer. Now granted, with only two rows of data, the sample size is very small, so I would be careful with that. But to give you that example, maybe we just go with eight, nine, 10, and now we have a few more families, uh, something like that, or maybe we go with the opposite, one fish eaten. So as you can see, we don't have a lot of families here, but if you remember, what was our original number? Our original number was 15, okay? So we don't have a lot of families to begin with, with this category, so maybe we wanna go and do all of them. So instead of uh, families with zero children, maybe we'll do, you have to have a child. So in fact, we have 224 rows of data out of the 496, and now let's check out that fish number. Well, let's check out the average. The average is 5.57, 5.57 there, okay? Um, but let's look at that 10 now, see if we get more than two rows of data. And we do, we actually get 20 rows of data. So now that average is 10 actually. And why is that? Because we only chose 10. So your average is 10 because it's the only number available. But now we have other things in here like a min of 10, max of 10, but I have a sum of 200, which makes sense because I have all 10s here times 20 rows of data. That should play out correctly. But now I can play with the bananas. I can go here and go to one banana, and I have now I have 
families that have children in them who eat 10 servings of fish a week and one banana. So you see how you can quickly look at your data using filters, but the information down here too in your, in your bar.